Now, if you pick up your Laguna 1412 bandsaw from an authorized Laguna dealership, it'll arrive in a box just like this, and you'll pick it up and, and uh, take it home like this. If you have it delivered to your house, it'll arrive in the same box, but it'll be strapped to a pallet. Simply remove it from the pallet, and then you can open it up and begin setting up your bandsaw. Let's go ahead and open up the 1412 and have a look at how the setup goes. All right. Now that we've got the box open, let's have a look and see how it's packed. Here we've got the cast iron table, complete with the throat plate. We've got the fence rail, the fence assembly itself. We've got the fence gauge, knuckle assembly, and here's the portions of the stand. Now if you gently lift the stand, right here you're going to find the owner's manual. Take a few moments and peruse the owner's manual, go through step by step so you have a good idea what you're going to be doing. Now that you've taken some time to read the manual, let's go ahead and unload each part out of the box and you can begin checking those off on pages 11 and 12 in your manual. If you have any optional accessories, you'll see those listed as well. You may have an optional light and mobility kit that are here with your bandsaw and if so, those will be packaged separately. Now today we're going to install two optional accessories that you may or may not purchase with your bandsaw. We're going to install the uh, Pro Wheel System or Mobility Kit for the saw as well as the Pro Light System. This is a high intensity uh, halogen lamp that you uh, can use on your bandsaw to light up your work area. Now the Laguna 1412 bandsaw is a heavy piece of equipment at over 300 pounds shipping weight. You might want to have a hand uh, in your shop here for you to go through and do setup of the saw. Let's lift out the table. Tool kit, pads, fence and fence rail, fence guide, knuckle assembly, hand wheel, and the base plates. Now that we've got the top level all emptied out and checked to make sure that there's no parts in here, let's go ahead and lift off the styrofoam to reveal the bandsaw. Now that we've got the styrofoam out of the way, you can see that we've got the single heaviest part of the bandsaw here. This is heavy. Get someone to help you lift this out. What I've found that's easier than lifting the entire bandsaw up and out of the box is to stand the box upright and to gently walk the bandsaw out of it. Again, do this with someone to, uh, to help you out because you don't want this to fall over on you. Be careful at this point, you don't want the bandsaw to tip out on you. Gently walk your bandsaw out of the box. And lay the box back down. Don't get rid of the box yet, there's a few more pieces that are underneath the styrofoam on the inside. Let's go ahead and pull the styrofoam out and see what else is in the box. Now you're going to find a couple pieces of the base underneath the bottom side of the styrofoam. Let's go ahead and cut these out and set them to the side. Now that we've got all of the parts and pieces out of the box, we want to clear our work area, clean up a little bit, and make sure that we're ready for assembly. Let's go ahead and get the box out of the way and we'll begin by opening up all the packages here and making sure we have all of our parts. And let's take the plastic off the bandsaw. Make sure you get rid of the plastic so you don't slip on it as you're doing setup. There's the hand wheel and the handle. I like to pre-assemble the knob before I put it on the bandsaw. Now that we've got the first of our parts open up here, we'll just check on the manual here. Page number 12 shows that we have the fence assembly and all of its components and the fence guide bar. We've got each of these right here. I'm going to set these to the side. Let's get the items for the stand out. Okay. 
On page 11 of your manual, you'll see that there's four parts of the base of the bandsaw. We've got the plates, and we've got what they call the, the side plates or end plates. And these are actually the legs of the bandsaw. On page 12 of the manual, you'll see all the hardware. Now we've got it divided into two separate bags. Let's go ahead and open these bags up, get the parts divided out so we can uh, assemble our stand. First, open the hardware bag and you'll find three individual bags on the inside. You'll find two of them that contain hardware and one bag that contains the feet for the stand.